Hello, this is WidowDie7119, and I am back for the next chapter in my Resident Evil walkthroughs. I will be doing yet again the 2019 remake of Resident Evil 2, released for the PS4, Xbox One, and Windows. Um, this time I will be doing it as Claire Redfield. Um, again, this one will be a little different from my previous walkthroughs, as this game is much newer and is played from a third-person perspective instead of the classic fixed camera angles. In about a year, the remake has already surpassed the original sales numbers, so it's doing pretty good. Quickly, I will go, in, uh, I will go into the events between Resident Evil 1 and 2. Two months have passed since the mansion incident. Chris, Jill, Brad, Barry, and Rebecca, members of STARS, all returned to Raccoon City and gave a full report on, what, on the events of July 23rd and July 24th. Billy and Albert Wesker are both presumed dead, and unfortunately Umbrella controls all of Raccoon City, including the police department. Police Chief Brian Irons dismissed the report and covered it up. Anyone not involved didn't believe them. After being suspended from the force, Chris decided to take matters into his own hands and covertly traveled to Europe to further investigate Umbrella, while Jill stayed behind with Brad to investigate Umbrella locally. Barry relocated his family to Canada and Rebecca left law enforcement behind. Leon S. Kennedy, a rookie police officer, has been assigned to Raccoon City Police Force and drives into town. Claire Redfield hasn't heard from her brother Chris in a while and is starting to get worried, so she heads to town to look for him. Alright, so I will be playing the PS4 version. Again, I will be doing this walkthrough as Claire on the second run. I'm a little scared because I've only done the second run like twice. Once as Claire and once as Leon. And it definitely is harder. <laughs> so let's get started. kind of just threw us right in. Second run is a lot shorter. <laughs> Alright, so we are... Leon, I'm sure you beat me here. Already at the police station. Uh, we actually enter from kind of pretty much where we would in the original game. So we get to see this area, which is kind of cool. And also, uh, really quick, I'm going to read this miscellaneous file. Wetter from Best Friend. Dear Claire, first of all, thanks for the wetter. Now if you let me get this one thing off my chest. I can't believe you're really going to do it. I can't believe you're biking all the way to Raccoon City all by yourself. Just to see your brother? What the hell, girl? 
I know Chris means a lot to you, and yeah, you haven't been able to reach him for a month and all, but you're nuts. You know how many perverts and assholes are out there just waiting for a hot young college student to come along and take advantage of? It's not safe to travel alone. But your mind's made up, isn't it? Fine. I get it. Just promise you'll call when you get to Raccoon City. Don't leave your bestest best friend hanging, okay? Love ya. P.S. Your brother may be THE Chris Redfield, and he may have taught you how to fight and use a gun like a banshee, but that doesn't make you invincible. Just don't get cocky out there. And we come in over here. hear the helicopter crash into the building. I'll be right there. Okay. Claire. It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know... Just surviving. That's good. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Damn it. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. Claire, I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. Yeah, you need to go. Now. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. Here we see Brad Vickers, Star's Alpha Team from Resident Evil 1.
original, you could find a zombified version of him in this passageway if you made it to the police station without picking up any items. But they cut the zombified Brad from this game completely. So I won't be using any of these deluxe weapons. These I got from pre-ordering, and these I got from accomplishing in-game uh, stuff. Damn it. Seriously. <sighs> One thing that I absolutely love about this gun is that it reminds me of Revolver Ocelot for any uh, Metal Gear Solid fans out there. Son of a bitch. And also, I will just go ahead and take this moment to say that I really do not like how they drastically changed Claire's original outfit. I don't hate the outfit, it's just I think there was nothing wrong with the original outfit. And then they even gave us the original outfit in this... And 
And then they even gave us the original outfit in this game, and uh, still changed it. It's not even the same. I mean, it's pretty much the same, but they call me a stickler, but they took away her sleeves. She wore a t-shirt in the original, but in this she has like no t-shirt sleeves under her vest. It just looks different. It just, uh, I just don't like it. Scrap of paper.
Where's the fuse, you little bastard? And we come to the main hall finally. Anybody here? And in the second run, it is filled with zombies. And they also took the liberty of removing the item box. Bet he's not part of the rescue squad. Yeah, I bet he's not. with the missing page.
there's the famed walk across the window. Record of events, September 25th, we're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th, addendum, one of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died, and there's only a handful of survivors left. Failure, everything is falling into disarray here. David Ford. Bitch. 
every single window they're getting through before I can board up. Storage Walker Terminal Memo. It appears that the keypad to the Walker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find the sp some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, you bastard. Who else would fuck this up this badly? the dark room. Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Commemorative photo. Medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arkway Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heightens the herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. 
According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. Portable safe instructions. Press a light to press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all of the lights to go out and you will need to start the sequence over again. I think I'm going to end this part here. So 
thank you for watching, and I will be back with the next part very soon.